Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's the first day of September and I'm already in a jumper. It's freezing. It's not freezing, it's like 17 degrees, but to me it's cold enough for a jumper, even though it's quite a thin one. Anyway, today I have got a haul to share with you. As you can see, I have a box here. I have also got a couple of pieces that I picked up um, last week or the week before last that I haven't opened yet um, but if you saw my video uh, on Friday so a few days ago now I placed an order with the Sylvanian storekeepers website which is the Sylvanian shop in London um, for their bank holiday weekend sale not really sale but they had a deal going on uh, where you could get freebie I placed an order with them which arrived today so I'm very excited to share that and I also picked up a couple of other bits as well that I'm excited to share so let's delve in first off I'll show you what I picked up in the toy shop um like I say I think it was last week I don't know but I've been putting off opening the boxes because I want to film unboxings not for all of them but for some little things I think it'd be cute to share so firstly, I have got the laundry and vacuum cleaner set. How cute. So in my toy shop, they had the older laundry set, which comes with, um, it's got the rabbit, uh, chocolate rabbit mother on the front, and it's a different looking um, washer. And it comes with something else. It doesn't come with a vacuum, but I thought that was really cute. So those are the bits that you get inside. I've seen a few people share this and I just wanted to get my hands on it. And then there's a couple of pictures. I love that he's doing the housework there. I just love that. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to use that in some scenes. Um, just them doing sort of housework, I suppose, because we all have to do it. Um, and so do the Sylvanians. If they've got a house, they've got to keep it clean. So that was, oh, I don't know if I'll share prices. I might as well. That was eight ninety nine. dollars um, from the little local toy shop. Next, I picked up the double push chair. Um, I picked this up with the Pookie Panda family in mind because it comes with two babies. So even though one's a boy and one's a girl, I think they'll appreciate a pink push chair because um, who doesn't love a bit of a pink push chair? And that's what it looks like. There's two little uh, squirrel babies in there. It's got this cute little canopy on the top. And I just thought that was really sweet and definitely something that I need to add into my collection is some sort of prams and push chairs and things like that because I'm accumulating quite a lot of babies and I don't have much stuff for them. <laughs> so that was $6.99, um, again, from the local toy shop. And the last thing I grabbed from that toy shop was the children's bedroom furniture set. And I know everyone and their dog has got this, um, but I don't. And like I said in my recent video, I am trying to furnish a house. So I thought this would be necessary. It comes with all these bits here, uh, a pink duvet and a bluish kind of duvet. And the two beds, um, they can be set up like that or they can be set side by side. Obviously most families have two children, um, so a brother and a sister. And I just thought that that would be perfect. It's one of those sorts of things, isn't it, where I think as the collections grow, if I'm gonna have multiple houses set out, I might end up having to get two of these um, or more. <laughs> just like I said about the um, the double bed situation, like there just isn't that many beds available. So do I buy duplicates of the same one so everyone's got a bed or do I just wait until they get updated and then buy them then? But beds and things seem to be like this particular sort of um, bedroom furniture. It's been around for ages. It's very easily available, um, very reasonable price. So that's $14.99 for that whole, all of that stuff there. And they're just one of those things that's like core Sylvanian's collection, you know? My hair's really getting on my nerves, I apologize. Um, so yeah, something that's really easy to grab and have um, to furnish your houses, whether you've got a small little house or bigger ones, you know, you could have a family that have got four children and two of these sets would be great. So it's just one of those things really, isn't it? As the as I start to collect more, I'm sure I will come across more different variants of furniture as I go. Um, but for now, that's what I have. 
So with that in mind, um, if you have watched my previous video where I was shopping for Sylvanians, um, I did have furnishing a house in mind and buying furniture and things in mind. So that will summarise pretty much what's in this box here. So firstly though, I'll share with you this. With the Sylvanian um, shop, you get a loyalty club and they sent this little loyalty leaflet and five stickers um, because I spent, I think you get one sticker for every 10 pounds that you spend and then you just build them up. So you stick them all on here and then once you reach here, which is 24 stickers, um, you can send that off for a free gift or you can carry on collecting and when you get to 45 stickers, you can send that whole thing off for um, a bigger gift. So I just think that's a really good little um, incentive to have. I mean, I'm going to be spending my money anyway, so I might as well get something for it, let's face it. <laughs> so let's jump in to the bits I got. Firstly, I picked up the kitchen cooking set. I love this little set. It comes with the oven gloves um, and loads of great like little cooking bits. And you can see there the rabbit mother doing some cooking. What's she got in the, in the oven there? I'm not sure what's in her pan, um, but there's loads of little bits here. And I find these sorts of things really essential for setting the scene, you know? There's nothing worse than a kitchen with literally nothing in it. It just looks a bit basic, you know? I'm trying to create a little sort of living scene and I want to show cooking going on and food being eaten and stuff like that. Just Sylvanians living their best life and enjoying a good time and a good meal. So yeah, I really thought that that would be a great thing to add to my collection. Um, yeah, I'm excited to get all these bits out as well. So you get quite a few bits in here. I'm not sure how much it was. Let me have a look. Um, bum, bum, bum. Kitchen cooking set, $8.99. So I don't think that's bad at all. When you look at all the little pieces and all the detail, also, a lot of these, they had like a pound off, so some things would have been 9 99 um, if you were to buy them from uh, Sylvanian Family's website rather than the Sylvanian storekeepers. I don't know if I'm making sense. It's been a long day. Let's get on with the haul. That's what you're here for. Next up, I got the toilet set. Self-explanatory. Everyone needs to pee. So, yeah, I thought it was really cute. And it comes with all these bits here. I don't have any toilets for my Sylvanians, so they're all currently crossing their legs. Um, but I thought this would be handy because I can fit this in a small house as well as add to it for a big house, dependent on the mood or what I'm trying to do. So I love that it comes with slippers. That's so cute. Yeah, and I really like this little um, cupboard as well. I think that's really handy because you need somewhere to keep all your toiletries in the bathroom, don't you? So yeah, I love that little set. And that was oh, 8.99 as well. So again, really good. And I think that was a pound off. Next up, I got the garden decoration set. I've seen everyone with this and I think it comes with one of the older homes or maybe it's the, is it the Red Roof Country Home? I'm not sure, but it's basically all of these little bits here. Um, like the little vines to go on the trellis and things like that, little um, flower boxes and this little garden display thing. There's a picture of it set up. And these little pots, I just think they look really nice outside the front door or, you know, decorating around the house. If you've got little railings and things, you can thread the vines through. I think that looks really cute. So I really wanted to get my hands on that for a while. That's been on my wish list. And this was 6 99 so bargain. Next up, sorry I'm fiddling with my hair. It's just really like drab and annoying. I haven't done anything with it today. Um, next, the girls' dressing table. I love it. Who doesn't want a dressing table? I thought this would be good because I would like to collect the town girl series, the older sister series. And I thought older sisters love their makeup and they'd be cute using their little dressing table. I know it's for child, well, child-sized girls, but I don't think it really matters. I think it would be fine for both. It even comes with a little hairdryer. How cute is that? 
and that was $7.99 so again really good price for that the box is a little bit squished there but it's nothing to really complain about too much so yeah I love how it says on all of them as well like how many pieces you get in there because you think how's that all in there like 15 pieces but then obviously they're really tiny little bits aren't they so I'm looking forward to unpacking all of these over the next few days um I won't share you know some things like the double push chair like I'm literally going to open the box and there's push chair in there so I'm not going to bother with those sorts of things but I thought it might be interesting to share what you get in a in a bedroom set all of the little pieces and things um and also maybe how i use the garden decoration set that kind of stuff next up another piece i've had my eye on for ages is the kitchen island i love it such a good idea because some of the rooms um obviously they're not very big so you kind of make like a kitchen diner area and i thought this would be great for that and it's really cool to see like the dad doing some cooking on there. It comes with a sink on it as well. And it also comes with loads of different bits, um, like a mixer. I think that's a waffle maker, some kitchen scales. And these actually move as well, the, the mixer and the scales. So that's really good as well. And if you look at this picture on the side here, if you can see that, it all sort of tidies away underneath. So love that. A nice tidy kitchen, that's what everyone wants. And that was, how much was that? 9.99, and I saw this on Amazon for 10.99, so I thought, that's a great price. They also had this in my local toy shop as well for 10.99, so again, I've saved a pound, which I'm very happy about. Finally, and the biggest piece is the kitchen uh, play set. So this is just, basically everything you need in your kitchen and I thought that these two would go really nice together in like a big kitchen in my big homes um or you can separate them down into little pieces comes with three little um pieces doesn't it so you've got the fridge and I think this separates the two side side pods is it it may just be one no I think it's two we'll find out when I open the box which will probably be tomorrow so look at all the bits and bobs oh yeah it is i could have just looked on the side yeah it's two two sideboards um fridge freezer loads of bits of food utensils um baking stuff pots and pans all of that and i love that the drawers like open and the fridge opens and you can put all their food in there so i just think that's really good i'm really excited to set some scenes up with my sylvanians in the kitchen and the actual patterns on these, they do match. So I'm hoping that will all look nice together. And this set comes with 35 pieces. There's loads in there. That was 14 99 So when you consider that that was the same price as the bedroom set, I think that's really good. So basically to set up a room, you're looking at 15 pounds. And then obviously as time goes on, you collect more little bits and pieces and just keep adding to the collection. Only one thing with this box is that it was a bit battered on the top there. I mean, I'm not gonna lose sleep over that. Um, I can flatten it back out. It's not too much of a problem. But sometimes things do come a little bit beaten up, don't they, in the post? Um, and I like to keep my boxes, as I've said. So because I spent over 50 pounds, I did select one of the freebie options. And the option I selected was the wedding couple, the Dante cat wedding couple which is these two here. They didn't come in a box, which I was quite upset about. <laughs> um, I'm a box lover, but I'll open them up now so we can have a look. They are adorable though. They must have had these as like a special um, to be giving them away. Cause I think they're worth, I'm, I'm sure I said in last week's video, I think they're about 23 pounds for the set if you were to buy them separately. Oh, I don't actually know if you can buy them. I've never really looked into buying the wedding couple or the wedding chapel or anything like that, really. But I did say in my other video that I didn't want to buy these. I didn't want to get these because it would encourage me to want the uh, the wedding chapel. Oh, they're so cute. I'll just show them quickly. How adorable. Look at his little suit. Blue silk. What a statement. 
and her veil is actually really long. That's really lovely. And obviously she's got a nice poofy wedding dress. She's been in that bag a while. She's a bit all tucked up. There we go. And these guys are actually older. They must be because they've got um, these sorts of hands where they can actually hold things. I notice as well they have got the stickers on the bottom. So I don't know when these date from. They look a bit like the Keats cream cats. I don't know if they are. Um, obviously they're not because they are the Dante wedding cats. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I need to do a bit of research on these. But I love them. So when and if I am lucky enough to ever get my hands on the wedding chapel, rest assured I will set up a little scene of those two lovebirds getting married. I love her veil. I think that's so cute. What attention to detail there. I don't know if it comes... Oh yeah, it does come off. Probably the sort of thing I would leave on her because obviously she is the bride. I didn't have a veil for my wedding. Um, but it's very cute. So I'm very, very happy with my purchase from uh, the Sylvanian shop, uh, Sylvanian Storekeepers. I would definitely check them out if you haven't. So... There is one other thing that I am desperate to get my hands into and I don't even know if it's going to fit in the shop here but I'm going to try my best. Oh. Yes! The Deluxe Celebration Home gift set has arrived and I am absolutely buzzing. I got this for such a great deal. Um, I'm sure I've mentioned in other videos, but I sent my dad off around the country to go and pick it up for me. He popped in for lunch today and dropped it off. And I am just so excited to get in here. I love the colour. I love the Persian cats. I love everything about it and I just can't wait. So that's why I've gone a bit furniture mad because I've now got three homes to furnish plus my original cosy cottage that's upstairs and loads of families that are going to be without furniture so i don't know if i tilt you around there then i can lift it up this is the uh gift set that was exclusive to smith's oh, that is a lot of s's exclusive to smith's toy stores there we go got there in the end and it comes with obviously you've got the three houses so the sweet raspberry home is the small one the cozy cottage is the medium sized one and i think that's called the tower home the massive one comes with lots of lovely little flowers and ivies a lovely baby carriage there look at that like an old style um pram and that adorable um sofa set the armchair little coffee table set oh it's really quite heavy i'm gonna put it down now so yes upcoming videos in the next couple of days i will be excitedly getting in here and getting everything out because these little cats are just looking at me through the window they want to come out they want to join the crew they want to get to know the wedding couple and i'm desperate to get my hands on everything and open all of these boxes so i hope you liked that haul um i know it's a bit excessive but i am definitely on a sylvanian purchasing ban for the rest of the month so there's plenty to occupy me here and plenty for me to share um with you from this haul so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I haven't made you now spend loads of money. If I have, please don't blame me. <laughs> but I, honestly, I've really enjoyed this. Um, I love sharing this with you. And I really love reading your comments as well and watching your videos. So please let me know um, what you think of all the bits I got today. And if there's anything that needs to be added to my wish list, let me know. And I will make a note of it for when I am allowing myself to spend money again. So thanks for watching. I um, hope you enjoyed and I will catch you next time. Bye.